Hi Aquarius, how's everybody doing? We are here with a timeless reading. Before we get started with the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm seeing some good news coming through. It looks like it's connected with earthly matters, like things physically for you, connected to the 3D, connected to physical manifestations. My name is Gabriella. For anybody new tuning in, welcome. Okay. Catching up on sleep, self-care, rest. What you need to do for yourself. It's not going to be easy to take this break or give yourself what you need. I'm getting you in a vibe where at times, you know, when we get to a spot where we're sort of like associating our worth with our pr productivity, 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 we can get into a space where we feel guilty for taking a break or for doing self-care, things like that. So you may find yourself in a spot where it's not the easiest to slow down because strength coming up here means that like you taking a break or you putting a pause on something or you catching up on what you need to for yourself for personal reasons. This is not for like, it's not for personal gain outside of yourself. This is just what do I need to do for me, especially mentally? Like, do I feel exhausted? Do I feel burnt out? What do I need to do to get myself back into a place where I feel regulated, where I feel like I'm back at 100%? And it, it's not going to feel easy. Having the strength card next to a card, especially something like this, means like the strength to be still, the strength to relax, to calm down, to center, to ground your energy, to come back to you. Because strength the way that it is like you see this card how it's this person with the lion it's all going on within you like this is all the same energy it's all the same person it's that part of you that may be hard to tame and you see how this person is there's a sense of trust that this person has gained with this like inner lion your inner willpower and so rather than trying to sh like strangle it or like wrestle with it or anything like that, it's about gaining the self-trust with yourself, learning how to work with yourself and becoming allies in that way. It's bringing everything together congruently. And that's what this card is about. So there may be this part of you that's fighting, like taking a nap, going to bed on time, doing self-care, getting rest, taking a vacation, taking time off from work, whatever this is that you need to do for yourself that is not the easiest thing for you to do right now that's exactly what's needed for you for your benefit it's like a day where you get to do whatever you want and there's nothing that you have to do For some of you, I'm saying something about like brushing your hair, <laughs> brushing your hair, getting your hair done. You may be doing something with your appearance. I'm seeing with Leo. All of us have Leo in our charts. The sun is Leo also within our birth charts as well. So it's this part of us that wants to be, what's going on internally wants to be expressed externally. It can have to do with like your physical appearance. It can have to do with your body, how you're taking care of yourself, how you're showing up physically. So yeah, you may be doing something with your physical appearance or just self-care. All right, how about this? Four of Swords. 
taking a break, especially mentally, especially physically, giving yourself that time to rest. It's like watch your favorite TV show or read your favorite book or like go outside and be in nature or just do something for fun, be with your friends, paint a picture, listen to music, yo-yo, whatever it is that you like to do, practice a magic trick, whatever you like to do in your spare time, make it like a whole day of that spare time. As much as one can, anyway. So yeah, it's like taking off from all of these responsibilities. Anyway, back to the regularly scheduled program here. To have strength and the hermit, Aquarius, to have strength and the hermit next to each other, it's like it's not going to be easy, but you need to be alone right now. You need to reflect on your own right now. Again, whatever the strength card is next to, it's like you're gonna have to work with yourself. It is not going to be the easy thing to do this, but you need to be in hermit mode right now. This is like, I need time to reflect. I need to pull away from everybody else's opinion, everybody else's influence, check in with myself. What do I need? No distractions. This means like take a break from being on, on your phone, like take a break from watching videos, take a break from everything that is constantly like inundating you and reconnect back with your own energy. Sometimes it can be hard, you know, like we're constantly downloading things, downloading information, and this is about taking a break from that, especially too because like Aquarius is also connected with technology as well, and so you can usually find us with some sort of like science or technology or communication, something like that. Um, radio waves, you know, like Aquarius is actually one of the things that Aquarius represents are waves. And so like Wi-Fi and all of that is also associated with Aquarius as well, as we're like always connected. So this is coming back to the home base and connecting with yourself and kind of um, like cleansing your palate of all of that extra energy that's around you because you are absorbent. And so this is you kind of taking this moment really to reset here. And it's beautiful to do this too because a lot of times when we're having creative blocks, it's not, it's because we're blocked from the creativity that already wants to pour from us because we are taking on so much of the other energy. So you may feel a bit stumped right now. And this is going to bring you back to a space where you feel in touch with that like fountain of creativity within you, that fountain of passion within you, that fountain of intuition within you, whatever it is that you're trying to get connected with that you may feel disconnected from right now. Because as much as you may be connecting with other things, I'm seeing a disconnection here, but it's a disconnection with self. So this is about reconnecting with self. It also seems like it's about connecting with like you and what you want and what you want to be doing and how you want to be expressing yourself moving forward. Like what is important for you to be creating? Because with Leo here, as I said before, like Leo is associated with the sun. It's associated with our vitality, our self-expression, how we show up, all of our creativity, um, all of that inclusively. So you may be thinking about that, like, as, as somebody that's here, like, as a human in this body right now, like, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to express? What matters to me? How do I want to be coming off as well? Because Leo is also about your image. It's about how other people perceive you, how you want to be perceived by other people. It's Leo is also your ego. The sun is. So yeah, you may be like rethinking your style as well. This is feeling very Venus retrograde. Um, so yeah, a lot can have to do with like your presentation, your style, like what you're wearing, um, how you're doing your makeup, if you do makeup, your color palette, um, what you can be creating. I'm getting definitely like a lot of creative, a lot of creatives watching this video right now. Yeah, I'm getting stuff about, like, costume and costume design. Yeah, I'm seeing this be completely blocking everything else out.
completely blocking everything else out. Maybe you felt like something had been getting out of control with the devil or that you were kind of like edging up to that point. Because the devil is like our habits that feel so good but are so unhealthy. The things that it may be like a guilty pleasure of yours but in a way... It's like doing something that may feel good in a moment but later on you're like... I feel like I did that out of impulsivity or just out of like a lack of restraint and I know that like my higher self doesn't like doing this or that I feel more disconnected with myself when I do it. However, it's like easier to kind of give in to this. So this is also going to help you when it comes to your... I don't even want to say it in a way of self-control, but it's more like you controlling your human. Your human that wants to do things that your higher self is like we're trying to transcend right now, like that type of vibe. So that's why I'm seeing it be important that if you feel like you're around anything where you're creating habits that you don't like, this is the time to be setting boundaries with yourself. To have the devil here and to also have the moon on the bottom of the deck, this can be anything that you see as being addictive. So yeah, some of you may be taking a break from social media. Some of you may be taking a break from... Anything that's been taking up a lot of your time where you may be avoiding self-reflection. You know, sometimes when we get so caught up in something, it's like you start losing days and you're like, oh, that happened three days ago. Like you can't even um, like believe the way that time passes sometimes because you get so involved in things and not in a flow state type of way. It's like a, a matrix flow state. So this is about coming back and feeling refreshed and especially more than anything, feeling present. It's about like being present while you're eating, being present while you're having conversations with people, being present to the thoughts, being present to your emotion, being present completely. Because it seems like this is about disconnecting from all the things that allow you to escape and coming back. That's another thing with the devil and the moon, escape. Because the moon represents Pisces. Pisces is to, to run away, to be in like fairy tale land, um, being unrealistic can be the shadow of Pisces. All of us have Pisces. It's about the archetype, okay? So it can be like not wanting to be present to things and being like in this little fantasy land and which doesn't allow us then to be in a space where we want to be present for the thing. So being present is important it's not going to feel great at first, especially if you haven't been being present because you're like, look at this messy room. Look at the clothes everywhere. Look at like the whole mess and now I have to clean it up. So when you've been like on vacation from being present, you come back and you're like, oh, look at everything everywhere, you know, all over the place. But it ends up being a great thing because being present and seeing the mess that's there or whatever it is that you're seeing that's there, however it is that you're perceiving it in your mind's eye, it's that moment of like I'm coming back to myself and it's such a powerful moment even if it feels very unpleasant to be standing in that with yourself. And that noticing of look at all of this that I have to edit or to clean up or to work on it's a beautiful thing because it means that you're present to notice that and so even though it may feel very uncomfortable at first because you're like where's my pacifier now like I'm present it's gone these are the first steps to take and these are the first steps to take to creating a life that you actually want to be present for not that I'm saying everybody here doesn't want to be present for their life, but there, it looks like right now specifically, there may be something that you've been sort of like running away from a bit mentally, physically, whatever this is for you and getting lost in something else that's happy to accept you. Like jump in the pool over here with us, get lost. Um, and so this is you doing what you need to to bring back more of like a healthy lifestyle for yourself and that's going to look different for each of us too depends on what you want but this is about maybe doing the more disciplined thing now to feel good later to feel better later and you know once you break that 
bond that you have to whatever it is that you've like created a dependency with this is feeling like major detoxing energy aquarius once you break that bond once you cut those ties you're gonna be out here feeling completely free and unstoppable Some of you have a secret admirer. I don't know if they'd call themselves that, but I'm seeing somebody that's been definitely keeping tabs on you. I don't know if that's just a side note or this person's energy is coming through, but I'm seeing somebody lurking in the shadows a bit. Just watching. This means, too, that if you have somebody around you that's trying to pull you into something that you're like, that's not a right fit for me, I don't resonate with that, that you're setting boundaries as well. Anything that's trying to take you out of your integrity. Which can only happen if you allow it. Some of you um, recently got some difficult news that you've been dealing with. Or there may have been something where... Hmm. Looks like it's related to a relationship. There may have been something that needed to be addressed. I'm seeing somebody come through and want to talk to you about it. And I'm seeing you sort of reflecting on this. You may have a conversation with this person and then sort of go back on your own to reflect on this. I want to get further because I feel like this is quite vague. It seems like while you're taking time for yourself, this person is going to come through, but I'm seeing you be in hermit mode because you need it to be. So I'm seeing it kind of happen in your downtime we can call it something about this information allows you to reflect on how you want to proceed within a within this situation particularly with this person hold on sorry guys Yeah, it seems like somebody has news. It's like this person comes through with a heavy heart. I'm seeing Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, and Libra here. Tell me why the tower is on the bottom of the deck. This does feel like an energy that's a rebalancing one, though. Like, I'm not seeing something come through and create more discord or harm. And it does feel like these are steps being taken towards a more cleansed healing energy. I'm seeing you waiting to let go of something, but not yet. Maybe something still that you're holding on to. For some of you, I'm hearing it's a grudge that you're holding on to. I'm 
so there's somebody that you have not actively been communicating with is what I'm seeing and I'm getting them coming through to come talk to you it was not easy for them to come through I don't know what that means to you but it's being highlighted it was not easy for them to come through and talk about something it's either like something it's something revolving around somebody's pain so it's either like their pain or your pain or the pain that you've shared together with this person leo is really standing out to me here so anyway you've been having this break moving forward you've been having this break from this person this feels like sleeper mode like not act you guys have not actively been communicating with one another or you've been on a break or someone's been silent it's like that type of vibe so this is like not somebody that you're seeing every day okay this is somebody that there's been some sort of space between the two of you so they come through it's not easy for them to talk about this but they have something that they want to talk to you about it's associated with the three of swords so this can be addressing like i see how i really hurt you back there or I felt really hurt by this, when this happened. So a conversation like that, and I'm seeing you kind of like reflect on this about how to move forward. I sort of feel like this person wants you to be holding space with them, but it's interesting because it's not like you guys are talking every day. I get a very inactive energy. So some of you, may it's like the first time this person comes through after like not talking talking to them for a minute they're sort of pouring their heart out to you or wanting you to hold space which is what it is i guess you're gonna have to determine like whether that feels appropriate or not for you and i'm seeing because you've been more relaxed because you've been in hermit mode you also don't respond immediately to this person like I'm seeing you just be very, very receptive, where you're like, okay, I'm going to hear you. You may find this person be a little bit self-centered or a little bit egotistical or a little bit selfish. Like, they may come through and talk just a lot about themselves because they want to be heard by you. But they're also somebody that, like, their intention is to connect. You just may be a bit more introspective than this person. So yeah, they tell you about they tell you about something here that they want recognized. I'm seeing you reflect on it and be like, hmm, like what is the best way for me to respond with this person, especially coming from a grounded, level-headed space? How do I communicate back with them? And I'm seeing you sort of match the air energy so you may be more wordy with this person but like less emotional because even though we're talking about something that is associated with pain I'm seeing us lean like there are no cups here so somebody's not coming through and like crying in your arms and hoping for you to console them it feels more like a conversational space that you're maintaining with this person and I'm seeing you be like, what's the right way to go forward with this? But I'm not seeing you converse with this person about that. You are like checking in with yourself. Like, how do I want to steer the ship of this conversation with this person and communicate with them? And I'm seeing here with the four of pentacles and the devil, there can be something that you've been holding on to, but you see it as something that It may be keeping you, keeping you in like a middle space where something is not really beginning or ending and you feel sort of suspended in that processing. If you're still holding on to something that needs to be released, it seems like this is going to be the time for you to do it. But it's not going to be something easy. This is going to be something that is like, you know, in, um, is it Shrek where the cat like gets the really, really big eyes and looks so very adorable 
and is like, don't hurt me. Like, look at me. I'm a little cute cat. I honestly don't even think that I've seen the movie, but I've seen pictures of the cat where its eyes are just like half of its head. It's that. It's like you have to get rid of something and as you're about to like throw it in the trash or cut the cord, it's like looking at you with those eyes like, do you really want to get rid of me? We had such a fun time together. But you know behind it, it's like really not something such extra baggage for you to be holding on to. But it seems like it's kind of been... I'm seeing things that you've been trying to manifest, but I'm also seeing this thing that you've been holding on to has been like tainting the process. It's like something that you've been trying to make happen, but it actually maybe just isn't supposed to happen. Because having the, the devil in the seven of pentacles, this is like channeling kind of like your more dark energy here with this in a way that's more um, like carnal, even we can say. Something that like your human may really be like grabbing onto, but your higher self is like, why did we pack this? Why are we still carrying this? Should have gotten rid of that like five miles ago. But it may be something that you're still like trying to manifest, but I'm actually seeing it be something that's like out of order. And that's why there have been so many problems. It's like trying to take all of these pieces and get them to do a function and they're not working because those pieces do not go together in that way but it may it's something that it's really hard to let go of because we've been talking a lot about the devil card lately the devil is something that presents itself in a way where it's like your dream of what you want you know like don't you want me and it's packaged perfectly it's designed to um coincide with your coding coding like c-o-d-i-n-g of desire your desire system and so it's perfectly coded for you like don't you want me whatever that is because wherever it is that you feel like you're not whole within yourself you see this and you're like that's gonna be the thing that'll be the thing for me and so that's why I need this. Again, with the grabbing energy, you know, like I need it, clinging to it, this sense of dependency. The devil is the distorted attempt to reach the light. So the intention is to reach the light, but it's going about it in not, not the way that's going to get you there. But this is going to convince you that it will give that to you and it will give you tastes of it too that really keep you hooked on the idea or like the fantasy of this. But it's really just planting seeds for this to be like multiplying and like getting even more out of control. And so that's why I'm seeing you taking this time alone to yourself where either be it by choice or not, you're in hermit mode. And it's because you need this time to yourself to be reflecting on whatever this is that you need to set personal boundaries with within your life that's coming through in a very tempting way. Which it seems like once you address this, it's going to help you address this other thing that's been going on with someone that you may still be holding on to that needs to be released. So information comes through. It's about pain that one is still holding. Um, I'm hearing ancient. This may be something that you've been holding on to for quite some time. To have Libra here, to have the justice card here. This is like getting into a space where one is ready to let go of this, ready to release it. But I will say this, if you're still in a space where you're holding on to being righteous, you'll be able to hold on to this forever. Do you want to be righteous or do you want to be free? That doesn't mean that what happened back there was right. That doesn't mean that it was okay with you as far as your morals and what you would do. However... Do you want to be righteous or do you want to be free? It's your choice. Do you want to be able to forgive and to let go? It doesn't mean you have to forget anything. It doesn't mean you need to let so-and-so come back into your life or whatever, be all chummy now with somebody. But it's about doing this for yourself so you can be free. And that's what this is about. Acceptance. 
And this lack of acceptance is what's been stopping one from actually manifesting what they want. Or even knowing what that is that you want. Because I'm seeing you be very sidelined by the devil over here. So it's like your higher self and these other parts of yourself, like your ego, trying to manifest something. And because the lines keep getting crossed, the wires keep getting crossed, nothing is really even happening now. So this is about getting into a single state. And as soon as you let go of what you need to let go of, the magician is here. Look, you in a spot where you're able to manifest what you want. You in a spot where you feel like mentally you're clear. Cleared out. And that is the challenge here. That's why you've been being blocked. It's because you're holding on to something that you're not meant to be holding on to anymore. This is part of your healing process. I'm seeing someone dressed in all white here. I'm seeing um, dark hair, um, like medium to brownish skin, like, it's the best way to describe it. Someone with like an olive or a darker complexion. like sand but darker the i don't know who this person is for some of you this may be an ancestor of yours that's coming through i guess sand can be really any color but yeah yeah i'm seeing a very very specific image of someone i'm seeing like long like very dark black hair it's either like very dark brown or it's very it's just very dark for some of you they wore it in braids i'm seeing someone in an all white outfit it's like flowy top and bottom brown eyes For some of you, this is a, about a relationship with a mother figure or with a feminine figure. This King of Swords energy is coming through really strongly. Yeah, all in all, this feels like you could still be holding on to something. For those of you that this reading is resonating with, because I know some people will be like, maybe disagreeing that they're not holding on to anything for those of you that you feel like you are it seems like this comes down to like are you holding on to feelings that have become like poisonous or toxic in some way to you that do not feel like they're um light meaning like awareness meaning like love meaning like understanding do you feel like you're holding on to anything that is like poisoning your process, your attitude, any sort of resentment? And like, I want to come back to this point with justice being in the very center of this. On one plane of consciousness, on one plane of awareness, you can look at a situation and be like, that was messed up that that happened. When you transcend that, when you get up to the next level, 
right and wrong are molded together because as you get higher up on the planes, duality becomes non-duality. And so there's a lack of judgment then because there's nothing to judge because everything just is. And being in that state of acceptance. And so on one plane, again, you can be like, yeah, that wasn't okay that that happened. On another plane, there can be a level of acceptance because you want to be free of that sort of judgment. Both for that person and of yourself. It seems like this is really going to open you up to be able to have the type of reciprocity that you're looking to have with the people that are in your life now and the people that will be coming into your life. So I'm seeing you take this moment here where there's a reset that's happening mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I'm seeing there be information that comes through associated with what one is manifesting. So you may be getting more clear, like this time that I'm taking to myself is bringing me more clarity on the intention that I have of what I'm trying to manifest within my life. Rather than this cycle of pain, this is me addressing that. This comes back to the whole, like, what have I been trying to outrun? What have I been trying to escape, even in the most subtle of ways? tiny ways. It can be like overeating, you know, to avoid something, thinking about something, sitting with something to avoid pain. It comes in many different forms. Some of you may be like a workaholic getting lost in your work. That's another way that we can avoid things. So there are some ways that you can be disconnecting from yourself that are even socially acceptable. So this is about you coming back to yourself and asking yourself about like what this has been for you because I'm seeing something deeply from the past that you are going to be releasing but it's about like you getting clear on what your values are what's okay with you what's not okay with you and then getting into a space where you're going to set boundaries but from a space of freedom and for those of you that like need to talk about this thing that happened, you may be going somewhere where you're going to be able to get this off your chest, whether this be you talking to your guides or journaling about it or having conversation with yourself or going to, I'm seeing like a group of people, some of you are going to go to group therapy, I'm seeing. So it's about having the strength to address this in a way where we're bringing it to light. That's what this is about. Bringing it to light. And I'm seeing you, there may be, something may have triggered something from childhood for you, just something from the past for you, like a, a memorable moment, time, situation, maybe multiple memories and scenarios of something that has like a crude pain within you. And then getting to this space where you're going to let something go, where you're going to release it. But needing to get to that place mentally, for some of you physically, you're gonna be releasing something as well. This is going to lift a very big block for you. So you're going to be able to create what you want, but it's about taking care of this stuff first. The stuff that you've been, again, like trying to get something to manifest over and over and over again, but it's not working, it's not taking, and it's because something needs to be let go of. 
But then as soon as you do that, as soon as this release happens, you're going to be able to manifest what you want. This is you manifesting what you want, putting in the order, and then this is that thing coming to fruition and you being able to enjoy it. But you have to let go of whatever this is. This is some form of, some form of escape, escape or avoidance for you that's like not based in reality and not based in a space of acceptance and not based in a space of I feel whole. So that's what this is about. And this can be a lifelong thing too, right? Like desire is what moves us. Desire is what, why we reincarnate and all of that. What, what tethers us to the 3D plane. And so it's always something that we're dancing with, always. But this is about getting something under control and reining it back because it seems like it's continuously blocked you from this thing that you want to have within your life. And so that's what all of this is about. So you can actually find that thing that you want. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.